Brittany Lowe. I'm based in Aubrey, Texas at KB Ranch. I am a hunter jumper and equitation trainer. My parents swayed me to still go to college and I got my architectural degree. But after working as an architect for a little bit, I just really missed the horses and I didn't have the opportunity to be at the barn as much. And I, I was kind of done showing as an adult. I felt like I was, I was winning everything with my own horse and I didn't really have the money to go and get another horse. And I said, you know, I can do this as a professional. I can teach these young kids and horses a lot. So as time went on and I became an assistant trainer, I realized I had a really good niche for teaching kids, um, probably even more so than my riding. And watching the kids grow has been pretty amazing, and the horses. It's been a great, great experience. When you see that kid light up because they finally put in a great round that they've been working so hard at is like gold. I mean, it's hard, hard, and it makes you feel good as a, as a coach that you are a huge part of it. And that kid believes in themselves and is able to, to go out there and win because of their hard work. I think one of the biggest things that I want from my riders is somebody who's going to come here and have the ambition to really want it and work hard and do, just try their best to do everything I tell them to do. And it, it ends up, even if you're not as talented or lanky as some, that hard work tends to triumph as long as you're you know, willing to put it in. So when I'm looking for a new horse for my riders, the, the biggest thing is finding a horse that's going to match the rider's ability um, and temperament too. Um, you want a horse that you know is going to not be too hot for the rider or too quiet for the rider too. I mean, there's, there's riders that aren't strong enough with their legs that they need a horse that goes a little bit. Um, so it's, it's a little different per rider. It really depends on per rider. But you know, when that, that rider is new, you want probably a more quiet horse, one that's been there, done that, um, that has a natural lead change is always great. Um, and that isn't too green. I typically like one that, you know, is, you know, fits in a box, so to say, conformationally. Um, you don't want that one that's too long or too short backed and unproportionate because um, it tends to, you know, add to lameness issues at some point or, you know, it just doesn't be, isn't as athletic. Um, so it's, it's hard to find all of those things. Um, but you look for a horse that has a nice kind eye and, you know, a good disposition that has like, you know, really good ground manners too. You know, it's not fun to have one that wants to step all over you. Uh, when it comes to the form of them, this is in, in accordance with uh, hunters. I'm looking for one that jumps really well. Um, you want one that's going to use their back and bring their, their knees up to their nose over the jump. You want their legs to be either parallel or slightly higher than parallel um, with their with their you know nose between their front legs um, where they're actually using their bascule. A good hind end to be able to do that and a nice rhythmical balanced canter, flat movement through their knees when they are trotting and cantering. Um, and a, a natural lead change is really, really great to have because we need, we need to have a lead change to be able to have a good score anymore. I think the three biggest challenges, well, the first is for everybody, I think it could probably be said across the horse industry is learning the feel for a horse and really, you know, being soft and subtle and not, you know, overly active with your aids. Second, um, when it comes to jumping is finding distances. Uh, I think like it's, it's, it's really hard. It's something that takes a really long time to develop. I'm still developing it as a, as a professional. I don't think it ever, you ever end, never stop. Um, and then maybe third, um, just when you start uh, having more difficult horses, um, losing your bravery a little bit as a rider, it's hard to get the kids coached up and be like, you know, you need to be brave for your own horse. If you're training this horse along, you know, you have to learn how to, to step up to the plate and be ready to swing um, and, and go after what you need to do, not be timid. 11.30, we move on to the two-foot ring. Addie, 
you are doing the Junior Am Hunters. There's no two foot Eck today. So you're just the only one today in the two foot up there. You're gonna be the last rotation. Okay, so like check in that ring around 11. You're gonna walk up there and say, how long to the last rotation of the two foot, right? And he'll tell you about what time. Plan to always be on 15 minutes earlier so we have time to school, okay? You are going to do the two three, you're doing the two three, you're doing the two three, and you're doing the two three. We're I'm sure y'all are zipping up your tack trunks, okay? Five, five, and six. Natalia should do better if you do five, five, and six. Okay. So do we show in the But animal? six, six, and seven. It just depends on what you do in your first line, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Whatever you do in your first line, you're gonna match here and here. Okay? All right. Question? No? Oh, I was gonna ask which arena we're showing in, but they answered yeah. it. Okay. All right, let's go check in real quick. Stay still. Chest up. Count. Little, you gotta do something there, right? Was a little bit deep or too long. Make an adjustment. Count your rhythm. That was better. She's still jumping a little to the left, right? Brown single. Yes, going away for us. Two. Outside single, officer brown. Okay. To the inside gray six. Uh huh. Outside red yeah. six. Uh huh. Inside green seven. Yes. Okay, just make sure coming around to your gray, you got her off that right rein nice and straight, okay? Don't get too quiet. Little leg down the line. We were a little hard, we had a hard time getting down yesterday. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And when you need her to go, don't push your hands like this. Good luck. Have fun. Help her over the jumps. Come on down, MK. So we got some things we need to talk about, right? Okay. It started off really good, okay? When you landed off of the red line, we didn't land with our... Not yet. We got two, three next. And you have your under saddle, okay, Addie? When, when we go in for our two, three, we just gotta keep working on staying consistent. That's like the biggest thing when it comes to hunters, okay? So if we don't play... So really pretty good up to that last jump on a maybe just a little bit too big of a ride up into your diagonal huh? outside leg here open the inside rein good now talk to her one two one all right good good natalia don't over push gray gray pillars going away to the red Good, much better, right? Just make sure you don't get On top of all my really great riding coaches, I had a lot of really good sports coaches. And I learned who were bad coaches and who were good coaches. Um, there's a lot of um, negative ways of telling kids to do things, which aren't necessarily going to be helpful. Um, it's positivity really helps. And I, I saw that in the many different coaches I had. Kid. They learn responsibility, they learn hard work, but they also can have fun at the same time. Mm -hmm.